Greetings teammates, I pray you are well. This is Tim Morton with Southeast Michigan FCA and thank you for joining us for another Testimony Tuesday where we create this amazing platform for others to share powerful stories of transformation. You know, every story has a hero, a villain, a victim and a guide. And Jesus Christ was and still is the greatest hero maker of all time. And I know you would agree with me that we have enough villains and victims out there. Uh, but this would not happen. We would have no heroes without guides. Um, so a hero maker is a guide. A hero maker is a disciple of Jesus Christ. And so I'm excited to uh, have with us uh, today uh, Lily Kettlewell, uh, the first ever FCA intern for Southeast Michigan. She's gonna be joining us in just a minute and she's gonna share her testimony. Um, she's actually gonna share the story of how we got together and then she's gonna share her own personal testimony and what she's excited about in her role of intern with us here in Metro Detroit for the summer. And we hope uh, we'll be beyond that. So I'm gonna bring her on, um, Lily. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> um, Lily, I thought it would be a lot better coming from you, uh, mm -hmm. the story of how the Lord brought us together. So could you kind of give us your version of that? And then we'll we'll give you the opportunity to share your testimony. For sure. Um, yeah. So I was actually going into my senior year of college, talking to my mom about what I wanted to do after school and I kind of said that I wanted to work in ministry and I wanted to work uh, with kids and if I could put sports in there somehow that would be really ideal and but I had no idea like I told my mom I was like I have no idea where that would be or what that would look like and so then I kind of went into school just waiting and um, waiting for God's direction and finally going into my last semester my mom was talking to my neighbor across the street about me and about what I was looking for. And she goes, oh, well, I know the Southeast director for FCA and I can put you guys in contact with him. And so that's how I met Tim. And it was just really random. And I mean, not random because God always has a plan, but for me, it was very random <laughs> meeting Tim and getting connected with him. Yeah, and for those that are listening in, um, so that, that neighbor across the street happened to be the mother of one of the first FCA leaders I was ever associated with at Avondale High School. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's very uh, amazing how the Lord connects the dots. But you are you just graduated from Clark Summit mm -hmm. University yeah. in, in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, a beautiful campus. And, and now you're back here. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to give you, you the, the floor uh, to kind of share you know, what the Lord's put on your heart, why you're in, why have you accepted this calling to become an intern? And uh, so I just want to give you the floor. Sure. Yeah. So my first, so kind of when I track back my testimony to is in middle school. Um, that's when I really noticed that I wanted to make a heart change and that I um, knew that the life that I was living was not um, of God. It was of the world. I was trying to fit in at school and trying to do what was cool. And that isn't what God wants. And um, so that's when I track back my testimony to giving it all to him and just letting him kind of take the reins. And um, throughout high school, at a public high school, it's hard, but just stuck with it um, as best as I could and chose to go to a Christian university to um, really further my understanding of the gospel and my education and how I can use that uh, in a career. And that's where I got connected with Mission Scranton. And this is where I started to see God grow my love for ministry. Mission Scranton is a organization that serves inner city youth in, Pencil in Pennsylvania and Scranton. And the kids there are just, they will melt your heart and they need God and they need love. And we were able to give them both of those things. So that's where I really saw God growing my love for ministry in that um, since I've been saved, uh, that's been a growing passion of mine for sure. Well, I appreciate that, Lillian. And mm -hmm. uh, so let me get this right. It was middle school. Yep. All the way into high school. Mm -hmm. And then you made a decision to continue to pursue 
ministry and your faith at the at the collegiate level. Yeah. And um, I'm sure that you have um, saw the value of sport. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and you competed in soccer at Clark Summit. So you see the the importance of that connection and how it's, it's an amazing platform of bringing people together. Mm -hmm. So um, really excited to have you on our team. Um, everything that we've thrown at you to this point, <laughs> uh, trying to create a variety of experiences for you. You've really jumped in and done a great job with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you share with everyone what you are excited about maybe as this role of intern uh, for this summer and, and maybe even beyond that? Yeah, for sure. Um, my biggest thing that I was excited for looking at this opportunity was that I got to combine my two passions. I love sports, specifically soccer, but sports in general and ministry. And for a long time, I was able to have those things separately. Um, but now I get to see the impact that sports can have directly on ministry and how that can be implemented in so many different ways with high schoolers, middle schoolers, elementary schoolers, um, just throwing, throwing them all in there. Um, but yeah, that's probably what I'm most excited for is combining my two passions to reach God and show them to people. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And we're, we're so excited to have you on our team and our prayer was to have, you know, a male and a female intern. And we almost had both of this year. In fact, uh, the one young man that, that was going to come in as a summer intern, he's actually going to come back with us in the fall. Um, but the Lord has just uh, done some incredible things by bringing people together, connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. And now he's got you on our team. And uh, we're really excited about all these opportunities that you're going to have this summer so you can continue to grow um, on this journey that God has for you. Um, mm -hmm. Really a thank grateful and thankful, especially to your parents and all those that support you. You've got a great support system that's very clear. Mm -hmm. um, and, and for those that don't know, uh, Lillian's doing some support raising along the way and the Lord has shown up in some amazing ways with that. So it's been yes. very <laughs> affirming for you and, and um, just super excited about uh, what's ahead. So thank mm -hmm. you for joining us today. Thank you. It was fun, fun being on here. <laughs> wow. If you are a man or a woman who would be interested in knowing more about uh, joining our staff, uh, whether it's an intern, uh, we have a position called area representative, area director like myself, uh, please reach out to us. We'd love to have that conversation with you. Uh, but until we meet again, this has been Tim Morton and Lillian Kettlewell with Southeast Michigan FCA, where our mission is to lead every coach and athlete into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ and his church. God bless.